I've received such a good question from Sensome that is asking, can you make a video talking about the topic of depending on relationships to make you feel fulfilled and happy? And it's such a good one. It's such a good one because it's like our entire society with media and, and advertising and commercials and everything, everything in society is built on us finding a partner, finding someone that can, can complete us and fulfill us. And it's, it's so bizarre because the foundation of that is that you're not okay as you are, <laughs> that you're not complete as you are, and you're not fulfilled as you are. You need somebody to fulfill you. You need somebody to complete you. In reality, you're completely fine as you are. You don't need anybody to fulfill you or complete you. You're completely fine as you are. But it's um, it's very difficult um, to talk of, uh, to come from that aspect of you feeling complete as you are. As soon as as soon as you're no longer identifying, first of all, let me say that that when you're in the ego, you have a foundational belief of I am not, I should be. So you have a foundational belief in you not being okay the way that you are, and that. Is the foundation for everything. As soon as you become awake and you realize that there's nothing wrong with you at all, you are exactly in the moment, you're exactly like you're supposed to be, you're completely fine as you are. Nothing is missing, nothing needs to happen. You are exactly like you're supposed to be. And what is happening in the moment is exactly like it's supposed to be. So no matter what feeling you have, it's completely fine. Um, the difference between those two uh, is is huge because in one you believe that that you are not and you need somebody to fulfill you the other one you know that you are and the difficult part is that um, I have a really good friend and uh, and she was telling another friend of hers how much she loves and care about that person and the person heard it as a flirtation because the other person couldn't fathom that love can be displaced displaced and and uh, um, displayed sorry that love can be displayed and shown pure that when i say i love you i don't mean anything with it there's no hooks in you having to be in a certain way or hooks in wanting you to manipulate you into doing something or saying it back or anything like that. It's just pure experience of love, a pure being of what is. So when I say I love you and I say I appreciate you, I'm expressing how I feel towards you. There's, there's nothing in me that you need to say it back or you need to appreciate it or receive it or do anything with it other than just I'm saying it because I would like to say it. But if you're tied into the ego, then you will have a foundation of I am not, I should be, which means that, first of all, you can't hear what I'm saying. You can't hear and actually feel that somebody loves you and truly appreciates you because you don't love and appreciate you. You believe that you should be different in order for you to receive this kind of love and appreciation. So when you're in, in the ego, first of all, you can't hear it. Second of all, you, you don't believe it because you know that you're not, you should be in order to receive. So the, the, the whole um, conundrum with this is that when you are in the ego, you strive for a relationship that can fulfill you and complete you. And you will never, ever get it. You will never, ever receive it. Because when you meet the one that tells you that you're gorgeous and you're lovely and you're super appreciated, then you, you can't hear it. I had a group session today with one, uh, one of our participants where she said, it's so funny, um, I said to my husband, you always tell me that I'm not okay. And he was like, I just told you three times that I love you. But she didn't hear it. She didn't hear it. Three times she said that he loves her and he appreciates her. And one time he corrected something that she did. And she only heard the thing where she needed to be different. 
And that's the problem with the ego. You you might be with the love of your, of your life and you will never ever know because you're, you are not your love of your life. So there's no mirroring, there's no recognizing what the other person is saying to you. And that is the problem with the ego. That no matter how much you seek for true love and for being fulfilled through your relationship, you will never ever be fulfilled through your relationship because you're not fulfilled in you. And the paradox is <laughs> that when you're then in, in a place where you feel love and where you feel complete and where you feel appreciative of you, you don't need anybody else to say it. But when they say it, you hear it. You really hear it. And you're not, you have no, no longer any hooks into anybody saying it because you know it's nobody's job to tell you that you're loved and to tell tell you that you're appreciated. That's your job. Nobody else on this planet has been put on the planet to tell you that you're gorgeous and amazing as you are. You are. You're the you're the you're the person that should tell you that. And the only person here on the planet that has that job. But until you are fully appreciative of what is and every aspect of you as the person that you are, then you can't hear it when anybody's saying it to you. So I'm not sure if that was an answer that you were looking for. Um, if you want me to elaborate any further, then ask specific questions under the video and I'm going to answer. Thank you.